this tech tip video we will be looking at the unstitch solid command which is found in the advanced modeling palette as a tool for defeaturing a model. We'll start by looking at the basic functionality and maybe a few different ways to apply it and then we'll look at a more advanced selection method that might help when you have a part with a large number of holes or a more complex cavity with multiple holes that intersect or maybe several locations where a single cavity breaks out of the model. This valve body is a fairly straightforward part to program, but we'd probably want a casting model, both for accurate material-only calculations and to make the simulation more realistic. So I will start by placing the model in the body bag by double-clicking it. While it's still selected in the body bag, I'll go to the Modify menu and select Duplicate. The shortcut key for Duplicate is Control D, and that gives me a copy of whatever was selected when I duplicated. I'll leave the original model in the body bag and uh, leave it alone, don't want to change it, and I'll modify the copy. Now under Solid Modeling and Advanced Modeling, the fourth button over is Unstitch Solid. Unstitch Solid allows me to remove features from a model. And there's two modes I can use, especially for holes. The first is Edge Selection. If I turn Edges on, I can select the top and bottom edge or really uh, any edges in a single void that break out of the model, that break out into open air, and click do it. Now notice that there is a create plug choice here. Um, if I turn that on, there will be a negative of the space that's filled in created as well as removing that space from the model. So here's a plug that represents the negative of that hole. Typically uh, you would use this for core and cavity or some other situation where you need the negative of that void. Uh, generally speaking I'm going to leave that off for work like this. The limitation to selecting edges for unstitching is that I can only do one void at a time. If I try to do multiple voids, I get a message saying edges split body into two, uh, more than two face sets. So I'm limited to one edge set at a time. Now the other mode that I can use is face selection. Face selection allows me to simply select all the faces that make up that hole, and on simple holes like these, this is probably the fastest, easiest way to do it. I get the same result as with edge selection, with the exception of I can select multiple holes or multiple voids at one time. But you need to remember that I have to select all of the faces that are part of that hole. So on simple holes like this, it's fairly easy and straightforward, but on more complex holes, it can be time consuming or difficult to get all those faces selected. We'll go ahead and remove these holes up here while we're at it. Another use that I can uh, put unstitched solid to is removing other features such as chamfers and fillets as long as the software can merge the faces on either side of what you're unstitching it will successfully unstitch. Now to remove this big cavity here it's pretty easy to see that we have three places where that breaks out into open air but in reality we have five because these holes also intersect that same void. So it would be a bit tedious and possibly difficult to reach all the faces that we need to reach to do face selection. So for this I'm going to go back to edge selection and select the edges where this breaks out into open air. So we'll get the three big ones. As well as these two smaller ones. And we'll unstitch that. Now in a situation like this, sometimes it's handy to turn on Create Plug, which can give us a negative of the space that was filled in, uh, which sometimes is handy for 
making sure you understand exactly what's going on inside the part. In this case, it's really not necessary. I'll go ahead and delete it and bring our model back out. Now, just one more thing. You're not limited to chamfers, fillets, and radiuses. You can also unstitch uh, bosses uh, and uh, counterbores, uh, spot faces. As long as the software can merge this face to the surrounding faces, it can successfully unstitch. Right, I'm going to put this in the body bag and I'm going to duplicate this part one more time. And I'll show you a, I guess you could call it a trick for selecting um, a lot of holes at one time. This is handy if you have a part that's got a lot of holes in it or more complex voids that need to be filled. And that is under features using the hole manager and running automatic feature recognition to find all of the round voids in this part, which it has done, and I typically would auto group them. And I can go through and select a group at a time and unstitch those, or if I know that I want to just remove all the voids from this, I can select the top through the last group, so select all of these groups, and while they are selected, I can just unstitch them all. I don't want to create a plug here. So that's a way to quickly select a large number of holes or voids at one time. In this tech tip video, we examined using the unstitch solid command to defeature a model. We might want to do this to create a stock body representing a casting or forging such as what we were starting here, uh, or representing a part with some of the features already machined in prior setups or possibly to create a process model to make it easier to achieve the toolpath that we're looking for. Uh, for instance, a 3D face that's got some small holes in it that we want to remove just so we get a continuous toolpath without the software paying any attention at all to the holes. If you have any questions about defeaturing a model using the unstitch command uh, or taking this further, completing this process of creating a stock body, uh, please reach out to your reseller. They'll be more than happy to help.